Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Hi, Rafael. Welcome. Thank you. So welcome, guys, to everyone to our English class. It's a great opportunity. Just be ready and also try to maximize your skills. Like every nine, we're here with a lot of, you know, expectations to, you know, practice and improve English. Well, I can see there are some students joining the class and that's good. So just um, having a good, uh, you know, personal experience while learning English. And uh, as I can tell you, you know, it's really, really um, necessary to communicate actively, practice, speak, produce the language. And everything is so important. So we get confidence when we have a, a little space to, you know, practice. Um, that's why it's, it's very valuable. So it's for me a great pleasure to have you here. Um, also, because we have a great topics to share. We're also talking about trainings, also uh, talking about different things. And uh, well, let me share my presentation in this moment. So one moment, please. It's actually it's this one. Let's see. Okay. Okay, well, um, it's it's good to, you know, to talk about different things. Yesterday, we had the opportunity to talk about uh, commas. We have a review. Also, we talk about, you know, trainings because all of these two units are focused on what we called uh, trains. And we will continue uh, this part of the unit two, uh, well, week two and week three about trainings. So it's important to focus about trainings. And then we will continue with the next unit, well, unit three and four, and also uh, with different topics. But the most important is that this material and uh, encourage us to, you know, to practice English actively. Um, because the, the if you can see in the material, everything is conversation, everything is practice, analyze things, organize things, things, get ideas, investigate topics, get the meaning about words. So everything is that it makes a very special, you know, you know, knowledge for you guys. And uh, today we're going to talk about the following topic. Is actually this one is the video conference number 13 and section three. Um, we design a list of trainings related to different jobs. Well, so most of us, we have a, a special job. We work in, in, in a special office, in departments. We have different uh, kind of jobs and also areas. But it's important to remember that there are some other jobs and also some other jobs perhaps they will have some needs or perhaps some trainings that could be very valuable to, to have. Like every in every job, we always have to be updated about different topics and also trainings that can help people to have more tools for success. That's one of the most valuable points of this. So that's why we're going to be doing this one. For example, doctors. We're talking about doctors. What do you think could be the trainings? What kind of trainings they should have? That would be the question. And that is uh, the same case when we talk about some jobs. And this is the, the, the topic for this class, that we had to design a list of trainings, what we consider a list of trainings related to different jobs. For example, what kind of trainings uh, do the, the doctors should have? What kind of trainings um, do the lawyers should have? What kind of trainers, what kind of trainings should a psychologist should have? So depending what kind of career or job, that will be the kind of trainings they should have. So we're gonna be trying to design in this class, these trainings. And uh, that's why we're going to be doing this one. Well, so the question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, teacher. 
okay so, so i just let me check the the audio okay much better well that is uh, something good let me check let me check mm -hmm. all right so let's see what happened here And also we focus about the, uh, you know, the identify training uh, needs in my department. So we will go beyond because we will be talking about in um, some other kind of trainings and not specifically about our department. Maybe we're talking about some other jobs. That is the, the most interesting point of this. One second. Okay, okay, now this is the time to talk. We have a look at the following factors that influence career choices. Analyze each one. For example, when we were uh, studying, well, for any specific uh, career or for a specific area, because the, there are some people who have a specific career, like, you know, medicine, uh, laws, communication, education, different areas, um, areas of machines, technology, etc. Okay, uh, look at the following factors that influence career choices and analyze each one. For example, interest. Um, there are different interests, skills, attitudes, people skills, experience, family traditions or personality, life goals, and work values. It's the combination of things that, uh, that or factors that can encourage people to focus about one specific career. The ones who know uh, and about mathematics, for example, about medicine, there are different skills. For example, doctors. What kind of skills doctors should have? What can you tell me, guys, according to your experience or what you have seen about doctors? Uh, what are the skills uh, that a doctor should have? People is skilled. Sorry? People is skill. Yes, but what kind of skills uh, should uh, doctors should have? Respect. Mm, like values. Mm, values. Should, yeah, but the skills is something that they are capable to do. For example, mm -hmm. teacher, uh, I think uh, 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 a skill maybe is don't be afraid of blue. Oh, blood. Yeah, that's one. Yes. Maybe other can be a, a person has to like uh, the body. Okay, like to investigate about the body, right? Investigate the yeah, body. Yeah. is inside body. Um. Uh, me to also excuse me also uh, can they can use medical equipment okay the management of medical equipment and sometimes the doctor is must be a persu persuasive okay that's 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 good too. Thanks, uh, Manuel. Intelligence, because they need to study a lot of things, a lot of. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then many of them don't sleep. <laughs> yeah. They have long, <laughs> yeah, long schedules. Long... Twenty four and seven <laughs> hours. Yes, and, and something about attitudes, I can say that. They, according to a personal attitude, they they like helping others. This is, and something interesting. They like helping others. 
Okay, and also, yeah, that is important. What about lawyers? What kind of um, skills lawyers should have? They love the problems. <laughs> okay, the trying to solve problems, okay. So the, the speakers. <laughs> yes, good speakers, that's another one. Uh, they they uh, they have to be social uh, social person social person ah sociable yeah sociable people sociable, social people sociable people yeah they need a uh, smart talk okay all right that's okay and the capacity of convincing others this is another thing because lawyers should convince persuade they should persuade others. Personally, like to read. Like to read. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, well, well, I I think, okay. I think so. The lawyer is a uh, most most stay become the calm. Que debe ser calmado, debe estar tranquilo. Oh, it should be like uh, calm down, quiet. Okay, calm down. Okay. Thank you. Okay, what about a manager? It's, we're talking about uh, not a career, but a position of manager. What kind of skills uh, managers should have according to your personal experience? Leadership. Manager. Yes, good. Be a, a leadership. Capacity, capacity to co capacity to to coordinate coordinate uh, people. Okay, coordinate people. What else we can say? Yes, that's okay. Maybe uh, handle the stuff. Okay. Yeah. So like, um. Yeah, control to people, right? So they have to organize team. Yeah, control. Yeah, because you the the people management is so important. They have to organize things, right? And people too. Now, now yeah. how to speak? How to speak all, all the people? Yeah, that's good. What else we can also include? Well, maybe. Uh, apt, 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 I need to resolve the problem or, or uh, the person has uh, so speech <laughs> maybe okay And I think so is the manager uh, is the oh my god is thing work. I'm sorry. What was sorry? Team work. Ah, uh, teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah, team teamwork. Yes. Yes, that's right. That that's that's important. Also talking about that. What about an accountant? If we talk about accountant, what kind of uh, skills uh, an accountant should have? They need a math skills. Okay. Yeah, good, good to be good at math, right? You know, mathematics, they should know a lot about that. Yes. What else? Organize it. Yeah, an organized person. Yeah. Yes. Management to to work the technologies. Ah, okay. Yes. Teacher, yes. There is, there is also a high level of commitment. Uh, commitment. A high level of commitment. Commitment. Related to like things that they have to do. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, this is a, a skill. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Yes, that's that's also important. 
what else uh, an accountant should have? Okay, what about the, uh, let's talk about in the company, there are some managers, but there also are presidents, or we call CEO, the chief executive officer. Um, a president of a company or like CEO, what skills a CEO should have? We're not talking about a career, we're talking about their position because, you know, imagine the level of responsibilities that a president should have in a company, like kind of director or, a, or for example, we can talk about a principal, etc. So what a president should have, we're talking about the CEO. Uh, I think teacher uh, should be serve the people. Okay, what else a president of a company, what skills should have? Should be a leader, acting leader. Okay. Yes, this is the uh, primary. A leader is a leader. Yes, I, I totally agree with that. So if you you cannot lead a person, if you're not a leader, right? So leadership moves people, right? What what the the president says, people should understand that. What else we can include? Maybe capacity to influence or or persuade other people. Okay, yeah, persuasive uh, skills, right? The skills. capacity to persuade others. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Encouraging. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah, encouraging. Yeah. Because imagine as a president, you can you had to project leadership, you had to pro project motivation to employees. If you're motivated, you can transmit motivation to others. Imagine that the president is like, ah, no, it's gonna be hard. So I think we won't, won't get it. So how employees will take the message? Like if the president is not encouraged, we won't do that either. So that will be kind of challenging. What other skills a president of a company should have? Confidence, also confidence. Yes, correct. That's one of them. Claire, the uh, teacher, managing, managing help. Managing help. Okay, like support. Yeah, right. Okay. Yes. Support. Yes, that's good. Public speaking also. Ah, uh, public speaking because they need to transmit the ideas. Yes. Clear. Yes, because he, I, I don't know if you remember. Uh, Last, last president, uh, he, he can't speak in, in public, in public. Okay, yeah. Which president was my... <laughs> Talk about it, Megado. Yeah. Megado, ah! Yes, Megado. <laughs> yeah. uh, when, 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 he, when he was uh, speaking, uh, he sleep. Guys, his yeah. Yeah, that. but imagine he's a, a teacher. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, guys, let's continue. Remember, the class has been recorded. So, well, so the point is that they, they, they should be leaders and also the way to transmit messages. Why? I will explain the reasons why. Because a leader should be clear according to his instructions or her instructions or, or the message. Imagine that they start expressing him or herself. And it's not clear what people will understand the message. Like, you know, I don't understand what he said. He was like, he was a little confused. So that would be um, a kind of challenging for the, for the people in the company. The messages, the message should be clear in that case, right? So that's one of the most valuable points. And also the values, the personality. Do you think that for every job, 
the personality is important? Yes, of course. For me, yes, it's important because the president or CEO should be have a empathy. Okay. Empathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, yes, I know. Do you consider that your um your personality is projected in your job or not at all? For example, the personality is important about what you do in your job. Do you think personality is important? What do you think, students? Do you think personality is important in your job? Yes, teacher. Yeah, teacher. yeah in my opinion, yes, too. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Personality is important. In my case, because I am a teacher, well, with my students in a in-person class, because we are interacting in the class all the time, I should be uh, very friendly, sociable, ready to help, also patient, uh, also, you know, supporting others, encouraging others all the time. I had to be like that. So imagine that I, I won't have a personality like that. If I wouldn't have a personality like that, it will be hard for me uh, to project my ideas and also students to understand me and they should have confidence. So that's why the personality is attached about what you do. If you have a great personality, a personality that can manage your job, it also can be very, very valuable. So in that case, and also the family, the traditions also are connected in your job. So uh, this is a serious question. Do you consider that tradi your traditions are connected in your job or not necessarily um, traditions are connected to your job? Yes, teacher, I, I, I think this is a... Uh, 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 so important because I, I know uh, a friends, they follow follow the profession, uh, his father. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so traditions are important also. Okay, that's okay. So everything that we can also, those factors influence what we do. And also work and values is important. You were talking about values, the personality, also perseverance, res responsibility, passion to do that. So do you consider that the passion is important about what you do? Yes, I think it is important because uh, if your passion of what you're doing, you do a better job with a high quality. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I understand that point. That's right. So that's why it, it's, it's very valuable to discuss in that case. Yeah, because if you don't have passion, you don't enjoy. Passion is to enjoy what you do. We understand that when people are passionate about, uh, well, so having a job, it's not a job at all because they enjoy what they do. And that is important to enjoy what we're doing. And also it includes conditions in the in what you do, the conditions and everything. So it's very important. So that's why we had to enjoy what we are doing because when we do it, it becomes easy. Okay. Well, uh, let's continue with the next part. Uh, I don't know if you have any comment or about this factors no yes no okay let's continue with the next part okay look at this one here are the five different types of training and employment we have the self employment the paid employment supported employment training for work and voluntary work we have a uh, five type of training and employment so we actually are combining both. And what I want you to do is to do the next thing. Okay, what we have to do is in your group discuss what you think each of this means. Well, I want you to take a short time right now to investigate what's the meaning of each one. That is the first things that we have to do. 
and then well um, what i want you to do is like to to analyze with your partners these five points after that we have investigated about the five of them we will move on to the second slide so i want you to be connected with uh, the main points about this part we move on to the next slide and we had to respond the following part look at this in your group fill in one advantage and one disadvantage for each type of employment or training. For example, safe employed. What do you think is that? And it, what are the advantages to be a, a self-employed? Well, the advantage is that you work independently, you don't are you're not attached to schedules. You can also have the free, you have the, the freedom to make decisions because nobody's working with you. And what are disadvantages that the work is very heavy, that sometimes uh, you, you need some help, but nobody else can help you, that also you cannot work in teams in order to advance in things. So there are advantages and also disadvantages because first, you know about the meaning of each one. You in groups, you will take a short time to uh ev evaluate each one for example paid employment support in employment what is about training for work voluntary work what are the advantages and disadvantages this is what we had to do but in this case this activity will be done in groups so what i want you to do right now is this one to investigate what is one of the five types of training and employment self-employment paid supported training and voluntary break Okay, so I will give you a couple of minutes to investigate that. And after that, we're going to be working in, in groups, okay? Yes. Okay, let's go then. Let's start.
Okay, well, I will take a time to check the attendance list. So you listen your name and you say present. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thanks. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thanks. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Um, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Jose. It's not here. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Jose Salvador. Absent. Uh, no sé. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal is here? Yes, right? Jose Salvador? Yeah, he's joining. Uh, Jos Josman Atilio? Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera? Juan Carlos? Kevin Alfredo Lucero? Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza? Present. Okay. Uh, Osman Enrique. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Sifrido Ernesto Gomez. 
um, Sifrido. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Wendy. Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Eh, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Teacher Salvador, present. Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay, yes. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, let's continue. Okay, are you ready, guys, to with the information? Yes. Do you find the definition of the five type of trainings and employment? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, what I want you to do, I will give you two instructions. The first one is to work in groups. And you will explain, you can divide the, the trainings. For example, Osman, you can explain the self-employment. Carlos, you can explain uh, paid employment. Rafael, you can explain uh, supported employment. Josman, you can talk about training for work. You will explain what's the meaning about each type of training. After you know what it, they are about, you will complete the following chart we have here. Because you know the definition of each one, because you know how it is, you have the opportunity to analyze it and divide between the advantages and disadvantages. For example, self-employed. What is it? What is the advantage or what are the advantages that you can find about self-employed and what are the disadvantages? And then paid employment, supported employment, training for work, voluntary work, what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages. So that's what you had to do. You had to analyze in, a, in the groups each one. And later, after that you have analyzed the definition of each training and have completed the advantages and disadvantages, we're going to, in the plenary, we're going to socialize one member of the group can talk about their advantages and disadvantages. That's what we have to do. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay. So let's work right now. Let me uh, create the breakup rooms. Okay, we're gonna work between four and five. We're gonna work for groups between four and five and you can also interact each other. Remember, don't be afraid to talk, practice, activate the microphone. Don't think that you're gonna make mistakes. Like I don't talk because I think that I, I, wanna, I can make mistakes or I wanna be doing something good. So don't be afraid, just talk guys. That's why we're here. Because the, the problem is that, that we make mistakes. That's why we're learning here. That's why we're here. Because we're here because we are learning, because we're practicing, we are improving. Let's do it. Now look at your screen and accept the invitation to be in the groups.
Okay. Um, uh, Ricardo, uh, Kevin, uh, Jose Bernardo, please join the groups. Uh, because all of them are right now in the groups. So only you are not here. Uh, Ricardo, Kevin, and Jose Bernardo, please. Hey, teacher. Uh, I'm actually working right now, so I'm very busy right now. I can participate for now. Okay. Sorry. Okay, don't worry about it. The teacher sent the conference for today. And so it is in the page number one, two, three, four, five, in the page number six. I don't know if you can. Okay, here we got it. In the page number seven for the presentation for today. So we have to discuss the the meaning that we search for each word uh, for example self-employing for me i i look in internet that it is when you work by yourself yeah and so it had some benefits but also you have some disadvantage for example one benefit is that you can get your freedom economic freedom However, it takes a lot of risk. That could be a disadvantage. I don't know for the second or for the third or the other ones. Maybe Jorge or Nelson. Yeah, he's similar to an entrepreneur, yeah. Uh, self-employment yeah we are four and there are five definition uh, Um, I would like to explain the first and the last one, self-employment and voluntary work. I don't know. Or, or your choice. Sounds advantages and disadvantages for the self employment. For me, for example, the self employment, uh, the, the uh, disadvantages may be if no work, it's not a uh, ganancia. Works. What? Earnings, earnings. Earn, ah, earnings. Okay, earnings. Yes. There, 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 there are earnings. Uh, other disadvantages is for me is 
It's not the word formal. It's not there. There isn't a medic, uh, a seguro médico, uh, as, as, uh, Me medical care insurance. Medical, medical care insurance. Air insurance. Yeah. Okay. Yes. For me, it's other disadvantages. Uh, maybe uh, advantages. Uh, the person is the own boss. Uh, maybe uh, how how to 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 owner the 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 employ the employ the work um a different uh trying a different for example use the machine and and and, and use the uh, the different brochure and 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 in this case and and the the work hey guys uh, excuse me can you give me uh, uh, a minute please i, I return in a little time no problem okay Okay. I'm referring the defin definition the supported employment is referred to survey provision wherein the people with the disability, including intellectual disabilities, mental heal and traumatic brain in injury. Uh, definition is similar uh, to Carlos. Yeah, this is a person uh, intellectual uh, and capacitate on the other person, for example. Okay. The next. For Training example, for work. Okay. Training for Rapa. work. Training for work. Okay. For me, training for work is... Uh, Uh, learning skills uh, for insert in the labor force. When, for example, when you learn in carpentry or uh, social media uh, I don't know what what you say redes social media social media but something more mm. no the in, in generally social media about the instagram facebook twitter yeah. for example exactly okay for example uh, in training for work, uh, employee training is defined is a planet set of activity for imparting knowledge to employees with the leads to agree in the job and his skill required for organizational growth. This is the definable for me in the training. In the dif similar the definition that Rafael is important the the scale in the organization and different department is necessary planify plan a uh, planet and execute uh, execute the 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 training uh, for the co-worker yeah it's it's the it's the work uh for example is a for do do it exactly yeah mm -hmm. Yes, and in and, and, and this case, the, the training for work <clears throat> is, is applied to uh, uh, the new, the new employees and, and, and different company. Yeah. Yeah. Also, also this, 
uh, this class is an example for training for work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, voluntary work. What do you think about that? Uh, voluntary I, I, I different I different example. Ah, tell me, tell me one. And voluntary words. Uh, it is the hell that uh, determine growth. For example, on hell and benefit in your per and other person. And yes. this is the character, no benefits, and the company, the practice, the, the voluntary work. For example, in my company, the, I practice the voluntary, the, 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 the uh, for example, they are the, they are the, um, group, the um, grandfather, grandmother in groups, or there is a, yeah, for example, order is the uh, medio ambiente, medial environment. 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 Okay, thank you. Environment is the order activity uh, in the in the uh, bicentenary party, for example. Uh, activity the 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 tree and order. This is voluntary. The person is in, is. Is it good to practice? It sounds good. I didn't visit the, yeah. the park yet. Yeah. Uh, for for example, and the, the final date, uh extras or the hours. The vol the voluntary work. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Hi guys, uh, what what concept uh, are you working? Finish, Osman. <laughs> ah, no, no. Is, is the is the work <laughs> what you are? What you? Yeah, I live. No, I, I live. So many not only that. <laughs> voluntary work. Yeah, ah, voluntary work. Ah, yeah. Cruz Verde, Cruz Roja. Exactly. Fire, fire, fireman, fireman. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's a profession like fireman. Uh, Cruz Roja. I don't know. How do you say Cruz Roja or Cruz Verde? Yeah, it's voluntary. Voluntary. Yeah. Yes. Also, uh, altruistas, uh, people altruistas, altruists, altruist people. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, there are people helps the animals. Yeah. Yes. Uh, also, many people uh, work about the environment. Protect the environment. Um, I I I I think uh, this concept is is around that. Yeah, for example, the pudding. <laughs> pudding. Yeah, I pudding. I was in pudding and we we make a a, a some a, a glasses for childs for children. Uh, who have a, a very big problems of vision. Okay. Yeah, babies in some case. But they they don't, uh, I have a question about that. Uh -huh. uh, when they give uh, give him the, the glass, the glasses, don't yes. share, don't, don't share for him. Share? No, no le cobraron. No, it's free really? for the, free. yeah, because the, if you paid uh, glasses in Fuden, they pay, uh, they make two glasses more for uh, a people without money. Ah, it's good, it's good. Yeah. Good, 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 good action for, for, for them. Good option. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Social work. Social work. Yes. Social work. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if, if we have if we have continued uh, explain or discuss about the advantage in this band in disadvantage. Okay. What about the self-employed advantage? The advantage I, you have. I I have uh, some independence. Some ideas. Depends. You have independence. The... Uh, you make your time. Organized yeah. style. Organized, yeah. Also, yes. no one fires you. In the means, <laughs> nadie puede despedirte. <laughs> or also, you can earn, you can earn more money. Maybe if you are successful. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You are your own boss. Yeah. yeah and the disadvantage is uh, the all responsibilities. Yes. Uh, uh, are you? I don't know. Also, there is more risk of losing the invest investment. Yes. Yeah. 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 You can you can win all or can you lost all? <laughs> Depend. Depend about the the manager. Uh, yeah. You you go in. Uh, you don't have vacations. No vacation. If, uh, depend, uh, guys. No depend. bonus Christmas. De <laughs> 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 depend. Listen, listen <laughs> me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I remember when I was young, I was a uh, business with my, my mom. And listen me. In 15... The... Different uh, type of uh, programs. For example, uh, I have with the art, uh, like a plate, uh, and then and another thing. Um, nice. Case, I I don't remember that I. I did uh, some voluntary. I don't. I don't like this. I don't like that. But I know it, it is important. But I, I don't remember that I, if I did a voluntary in the in the past. Yes, in my case, I did a volunteer. Might be not sure when you help that that for for the events that they have and also in my in the school of my son yeah I, they need but to have volunteers is, in some occasions it is occasion. by obligation <laughs> yes, yes but it's a volunteer because they don't pay me <laughs> it's, it's like a, yeah teacher we have a confused and the and the supporting employment. employment, but because we are, I'm not sure, but I understand that the supporting employee is that that person helping other people with significant disability. Is this true or not? But the person that do the job that care uh, another person that have disability. This is I'm sorry, the, what more is that? It is supported employment. Yes. Well, the supplement is employment is you work for someone else and they pay you, but both ha both um, you and the employer have the support of another agency. That's what we call supported employment. Yeah, but the supportment employee is that person that do the job and help another donor, another person that have it, a disability. No, no, no. As I said, you work for someone else, and they pay you, but both you and the employer, I mean the, the employer and you, um, have the support of an agency. That is support uh, employment. That's, for example, 
a company give you a, a service, for example, I'm using a platform. This company is in charge of working in the platform. That is the meaning about supported employment. That's mean that it has advantages and disadvantages. The advantages, the, the disadvantages that you are the de you depend on them. If the platform doesn't work, you can do nothing because they can support you. They can support them. Uh, uh, but yeah, because with Edwin and Kevin, we talk about that the other, for example, the company that they have a responsibility to employment that a person with a disability because it's a law. But this is the person that have a disability or a, a minor disability that they have, a, but the company have to to contract or to have to employment that person because it's a law. Uh, I mean, if if um an external person support support you and support the company, that it's part of supported employment. Okay. An external person can help you to do a job. Okay. To you. And okay. To you. Yeah. It's like a, a entity, or it's like a or org that they they give the job and the, they give a, or they have a platform that the person with a disability have in the part in the platform and the person that support that this person is in the same platform. Okay. But the but they receive the the salary that or the ONG or the ORG. ONG. Yeah, it could be. Uh, okay. it's a different agency that can help you. Okay. Yeah, an agency. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. It's clear, Kevin and Edwin. Uh, a little bit, really. A but... little bit. It's yes. a little confused because here is not common that yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe in another country or because that the I don't know that the maybe Teleton. Yeah, it's a platform that they have and support that the others. Maybe <laughs> Teleton yeah. in the in El Salvador. <laughs> We will uh, read about the this topic. <laughs> yeah, support. Yeah, yeah supporting employment. But because self-employed, pay employed, training for work and voluntary work is... It's clear uh, for us. Yeah, is, support uh, employment is a little confused. But, but, yeah. Uh, I have a doubt. Really. <laughs> but... I, I agree. I agree with <laughs> we and all the things that we were talking. Yes, yes, it's, it's a little bit confused, but okay. But we need to identify advantage and disadvantage for each uh type, each kind, each kind, uh, Mirna. Uh, the advantage for self-employment, uh, you manage your time, you are your, yeah, wait, your wait, own wait, boss. To... <laughs> right. Yeah, take notes. Mm -hmm. The plenary, we're going to socialize points. Okay. Manage and your time. Don't, don't get... Manage your don't time. What else? <laughs> Sorry, Edwin, what do you say? <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, don't need to get up early. <laughs> <laughs> really? You you believe that? No, I think that you, <laughs> you never sleep when you are yourself a player because you I have guess. a lot of things to do. Okay, manage, manage your, your time. Time is advantage, and disadvantage is depend that you're, you don't receive a a salary because you depend that the the job that you have and and you don't have a established um uh, salary exactly okay. yes you don't have a established salary okay and what about the paid employment <laughs> you need to sleep 
es el eh, wake up, es que yo necesito wake up. <laughs> Very early because the traffic in my paid employment, the advantage. Yeah. You receive a salary, maybe benefits. Keep a contract with the company. Yes. What is the disadvantage? Edwin? This is my opinion, to be honest with you. I don't know. Yeah, so I think you... that this depends what is the activity for your voluntary. I don't know. Yes. yes. Get, well, in this country, for example, uh, many people uh, have the or take that decision for a voluntary in the Red Cruise. Yeah. For example. But uh, um, a few years ago, I, I had a uh, partner or co-worker uh, he was um, I don't remember he was a um, head of a uh, manager of warehouse um, in the weeks <laughs> he works in a company but in the weekend uh, he uh, was in the this institution uh, and he uh, was a uh, voluntary for a day uh, on weekend in the different activities. Yes, uh, but uh, when you talk about uh, the old days, you worked for this activity is very complicated because uh, you don't have a paid. And if you have a family, is difficult for they know uh, i don't know but um uh, i agree with you because it's a uh, very difficult uh, in this case in this country uh, work for a uh, voluntary in the different activities but um sometimes you can uh, make a uh, is depend Yes, in this case, for example, if you have a little time for a weekend, you can uh, go and, and get it. Uh, but um, it's, it's, it's our decision. Yeah. I don't know, Nelson, you want something that you want to share? In addition of you, you said, uh, yeah, voluntary work is uh, when someone work, uh, someone does work without uh, getting paid to do something. It's voluntary, right? And advantage? Hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what is an advantage um, could be the satisfaction to help others could be a disadvantage <sighs> the people always uh, uh, take advantage your your help just that okay Wendy do you have something that you want to share I can I can carry out me voluntary activity wide replace the work by a personal decision or go uh, extra mile in my world or in a world be very, very different or have a uh, satisfaction that that is did is of, of my one free will for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
when I say that I don't like the voluntary work, and that means because in my case, I remember in Cristobal and Amanda, hurricanes or, or rain, I don't remember what it is. I remember my wife prepared a breakfast for the people who was in the evacuation and we provide the food. Maybe it could be. Yeah. Um, also, the time you spend training, you don't have a money, a pay. Um, a pay um, press time? Yes. Yes. Or you need to uh, spend your. your Tiempo de descanso, tus horas de descanso. It's a break, 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 time. A break hours, break time. Uh, in the training, you need to spend this this time in the training and and not with your family or or making something. Do you want? Yes. Yes. Okay. What else? What else? Disadvantages or advantages for voluntary work? Uh, advantage, advantage for voluntary work. I think satisfy you. You have uh, satisfaction. Personal satisfaction. Satisfaction. Uh, you can feel very well. Uh, you uh, can help. Somebody. Yes, yeah, you can. You can have somebody. Uh, you can. You can do that you like. If you do that that you like, ah, uh, it's a, uh, it is the better. For example, uh, many people uh, work uh, in a. Uh, many people work. Come on. Yo in a work in a position that don't like necessary, but we had to work. For example, in my case, I studied a business administration. Yeah, okay. but I never work uh, about that, about this career. I work like engineer. Is is. See, this relation, this career, I think, uh, had to some uh, things uh, similar, but it's very different. Administration between engineering, engineer, is totally different. But uh, I need the, the the job, and I work that. I I work about that. You are. You you have an administration degree? Yes. Okay. But That's now I have am a manager a, of the Indian engineer department. <laughs> That's funny. I have an engineer degree and I work in administration. <laughs> I imagine no, don't believe it. Interesting. Really. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's funny. It is it, is inverse like like me. <laughs> yes, interchange. Yo, uh, interchange. I I, I always uh, want to uh, work in a, a in administration in a, some company, but never, never couldn't. I never couldn't. Yes. Okay. I I I, I start my job, my first job in in Maquila. <laughs> <laughs> I this factory I my my career or my my career. Okay, but it's good, man. You yes, you yes. have a uh a, a, a new a knowledge about yes yes. yes. I, I think yeah. all career uh, are beautiful, depending you enjoy. It. That's right. Yes. All career for me are interesting. But depend uh, somebody like uh, this career. 
for example, okay. our teacher enjoy teach English. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I suppose. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's That's made all easy. Yeah, it's <laughs> that kind of easier. I have around uh, 16 years teaching. Teacher, I think when you work in in in, in something you you like, you enjoy it. You enjoy it. It's a, a lifestyle. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's, I mean, it's not hard. It's not hard. The the, the job. Um. The, yeah. There, there are some like difficulties. Like every job, you, there are some challenges, difficulties, and uh. But if you enjoy it. It's good. I mean, well, so guys, we go back. Um, we took a very interesting time to practice. I, I, I can say that I was uh, very fascinated uh, listening to all of you talking and discussing about the points that we were like socializing. And uh, at the same time, those kind of activities uh, pushes us to talk. First, because most of the time, these kind of classes, becomes um you know very sociable all of you talk everybody should talk and that's the way you practice you ask questions about vocabulary expressions and that's one of the ways that's why i really love that because at this level you have to go beyond about just listening um having listeners well i mean that you only listen and you don't practice will be very challenging if you if you want to improve English, because you had to uh, practice as much as you can. That's why it is, it's something that we always have to take into account for that. Well, so congratulations. I'm very uh, fascinated, as I told you, to listen to all of you discussing, giving examples, talking about your personal experience, uh, talking about the meaning, getting new words and vocabulary. This is what I love to see in this class. That's why you are doing what you have to do. And uh, that is the way. And uh, we're going to be like sharing right now something important. One second. Well, so actually you can appreciate here the, um, the advantages and disadvantages about it is kind of training. It's like, for example, self-employed, paid employment, supported employment and training for work and voluntary work. So you can also, uh, you had a chance to socialize about the advantages and disadvantages. That's one of the things that we had to do. So are we going to ask in general, so you can also give me examples about what you have written in your, in your team. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's see, let me check here. Okay, self-employed. And um, we have uh, some important definitions about this. And I just want to ask you um, if you could analyze each one. For example, self-employed is that you work for yourself rather than someone else. You do it by yourself. You are like the boss. What are the advantages of self-employed? What are the advantages? Pride of own ownership, mm -hmm. independence. Oh, okay, good, good. Independence, right? Independence. Yeah, independence, right. What else would you like to include, guys? Manage your time. Mm, okay, yes. Awesome, awesome. Flexibility. Okay, you, you become your boss, you're very flexible by any chance. Okay, let's see. What are the disadvantages about self-employed? What disadvantage can you find about this? The uh, risk is higher. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I know. Because you don't have uh, someone else help, right? Yeah. Yeah. You you are the owner and the all responsibilities are are you. 
Eh, how do you say? Son tuyas. Sorry? Eh, how do you say son tuyas? Are yours. Are yours. Are yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't receive a salary or established salary? I think also your salary depends uh, about your profit. If your profit is low, your salary is low, yeah. but your profit, yeah, but your profit is high. Also, mm -hmm. your 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 salaries maybe can be higher. You don't but have... you you are you are your 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 salary depend about your profits your incomes yes yeah. if you, you don't, don't have work a... there are no profit <laughs> you don't have pay vacation <laughs> yeah yeah, what yeah. Is that? people say what is our like... benefit <laughs> you don't have any benefit yeah. <laughs> For example, the Christmas bonus, as we call like the aguinaldo, some people say, you know what, I quit my job to to work independently, but now on I don't have uh, the free, the Christmas bonus. People say that <laughs> they fail. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Because in if you work in a company, you receive um you know kind of Christmas bonuses, but when you work independently, yeah. Another disadvantage is, for example, if you are sick. And uh, you can work, you cannot work for a time, and you live uh for your uh, ahorros savings savings yeah, and it's a big disadvantage. Okay, yeah, that's right. yes, it is. Okay, let's move to the next um. Uh, turn because we uh, analyzed those interesting things related to self-employed. Now we move on to the next one we called paid employment. But what is the definition about the paid employment? The paid employment is you work for someone else and they pay you that normally we do in our companies that we don't um, have a, a special investment because the paid employment is you work for someone else and they pay you. What are the advantages about paid employment? Employment. You have a salary on time. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. You have a stability. Oh, employment okay. stability, yeah. Interesting. You, you, have, you have a salary every month. Okay, monthly? Yes, yeah. Money, money, money. You have a different uh, benefit, like in uh, for example, and uh, in this case, um, social security for your health, or medicals, uh, secure. Many companies mm -hmm. has uh, these benefits. For example, I I have, uh, medical security. Mm -hmm. right. Your secure, um, the life secure. Also, okay. For example, you the can be a, sorry, you can be an insurance or benefit that the company have or, or they pay for you at ease. IFP is a benefit that the company give you. Yeah, they offers you that. Yeah, that's good. And there is Christmas bonus. Uh, yeah, yeah, people. <laughs> yeah. Most important. Paid vacation. Waiting in December, the Christmas bonus, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and this is magic because the Christmas bonus disappear in December. They give you in December and disappear in December. <laughs> you have to say that for January. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because some people, they receive the Christmas bonus. And they make a budget to because in in January January you had to have money right. It's a long month. <laughs> People suffer in January. Okay. Well, what are the disadvantages about the paid employment? 
وانت ايوه باص ذا باسز يس ذا باس انجري باس ذا انجري باس او وات نو يس فيري ديماندينج باسز يو نو وان اي واز لوكينج ان انترنت اي فايند ا ا بيكتشر ذات سي ذات وان ديس ادفانتج از ذات يو هاف از فينانشال استابليش بات اي سي واي and and after that say because you're all will be a poor people <laughs> so bad <laughs> okay okay another yeah another disadvantage about paid employment in our in our group we talk about that you have to wake up very early <laughs> yeah and so you don't have a balance in your time because you have a check in the time but you don't have a check out Yeah, you have a schedule to keep or commit. I'm not sure what is the word, but you you need to commit the schedule. <laughs> yeah, you you had to you had to respect. Yes, you had to respect the schedule. That's right. I agree with you. And people have a specific time to go to work, but sometimes depending what they do, they have extra time in the job. If you if you leave at five, some people take more than five, five thirty, six p.m. They take more time than expected. The company don't pay extra hours, so uh, it's advantage. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them. That is a disadvantage in some companies. Yeah. Uh, maybe a uh, disadvantage is the company is not contract the person up forty years. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, oh, older <laughs> than forty or fifty. Forty, forty, yes, yes, forty, forty. Older than forty. Forty. Yeah, some companies. Yeah, depending the the kind of jobs, right? Yeah, this is a disadvantage in some some cases. Okay, let's move to the next one, and we have, um, the check. The next is supported employment. What is a supported employment? Is you work for someone else. For example, a company, you work for a company and they pay you, but both you and the employer or the company have the support of another agency. So you work for the company, but you have another agency that support you in the job. That is what we call supported employment. For example, we are a, we work for a company and we teach and we are teachers and we have experience, but a, there is another company that give us trainings to be updated, to be good. So we depend We, uh, I and the company, we depend on this agency that give us support. This is what we call supported employment. What could be a, an advantage of supported employment? Be sure. For example, yes. uh, security, uh, safe, safety or security agency is like that. Um, yes, could be, y yeah, it's yeah, because it's an agency that support you. Okay, thank you. What are the the advantages about support supporting employment? Because we, you don't have all of the responsibilities because you are outsourcing, right? Okay, you you could you have a responsibility and the agency too. Could be a satisfaction because you can help another person. Okay. Support another person. Yes, this is a, a good advantage.
what else? Okay. Um, another advantage could be, for example, that uh, you can you can be helped by an agency. They give you assistance, so you can develop your projects always with the supervision of an external company, and this is a great advantage about what you're working. You have a, a an external support, and that is a good advantage. So you can also maximize your work. And what are the disadvantages about support supported employment? What could be the disadvantage? I'm not sure, teacher, but maybe the, the job can be a failure. Imagine that if you work in an agency, but the agency don't have many people or the job is, is a risk that you have. Okay. And this kind of, of job, I think, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Also, I, I think uh, you can you can have a constant income. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, also a disadvantage about supporting employment if that if any situation happened and you don't have the support, the immediate support of this agency or external support, maybe you can delay about fixing some problems or you become dependent of this agency. This is another situation. Because maybe if you work in the company, with the company, that's okay because you solve problems and everything. But there is a moment that you become dependent of this agency. That is a situation about supporting employment. Something that perhaps we can also highlight about the, the, the advantages and disadvantages. And um, But I think the most of them are advantages because the goal is to give an extra help right, to the job you're doing. Let's continue with training for work. Look at this one. What is the definition about training for work? This is unpaid work in which you build up specific skills as well as general skills. Training for work. They don't pay you, I mean, for being in a training for work. You go because it's something that the company has and you go and you receive the training, but they don't pay you. I mean, you work because you can learn. So it's on paid work in which you build up specific skills as well as general skills. And what are the advantages of training for work? I believe it increases the employee's retention sometimes. Okay. Excellent. Improve the knowledge. Ah, okay. Increased uh, employee motivation, satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yes. What else? That you have the opportunity for develop your abilities, 
according to your area or different area. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's okay. And what are the disadvantages uh, of training for work? If, if you found, which ones you found? Do you, do you find disadvantages about training? The cost, high cost. Yeah, high cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. And another required time away from work. Oh. Yeah. It's an important. Yes, yeah, definitely. Out of your work time, yes. This is an, a good point that you had to dedicate more time for your trainings. What else? What else can we say about that? Sacrifice your time, your personal time. Mm -hmm. Because. Yes. It maybe, um, I don't know, maybe uh, unhealthy competitiveness. Uh, competencias no sanas. Yeah. Walker. Yes, yeah. Yeah, perhaps could be uh, another situation, Carlos. It depends, right? So imagine if you don't receive this training, but the other person receive it, they have an advantage. And uh, and we don't because we were not in the training. So that, that perhaps could be, okay, this person will be selected because this person has a training. Uh, but in that case, you were not in the training, so you don't know about that. So perhaps... Like some people are selected because what they know, right? Could be. And uh, look at the next one, voluntary work. The definition about voluntary work is that unpaid work to build up your general employability skills. You know, talking about employability skills, such as uh, with the charity. So you do it not for money because you do it for charity for helping. So what are the advantages about voluntary work? You can make networking or new friends or know about the new cultures. Mm -hmm. Okay. The person has a lot of personal satisfaction. Ah, okay. This is this is important. That's important. What else? Another advantage about you can improve your values or your patient that when you do this kind of jobs. Mm -hmm. Yes. I totally agree. Okay, this is, a, this is a good point too. Uh, voluntary, you help others. And also, you become a generous, yes or not? You become generous yes. about what you do. Yes. And also can support the employability skills. Because, I mean, you do it um, with passion. And what could be the disadvantages if you find voluntary work? What disadvantages can you find about this? The most important, you don't receive any payment. For, <laughs> By for free. <laughs> yeah, it's free. Yeah. Yeah, no money. Yeah. No like, money. <laughs> yeah, that would be when. And the time, maybe, because if you have a compromise with the 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 charity you have to to go it doesn't matter that the time maybe if you have another things or compromise that you can do yeah that's correct that's a good point okay something else that you would like to you know to say about that 
any other disadvantage? Maybe there is some uh, cotization, uh, social insurance. I don't know. Ah, okay. Like benefits. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there is not insurance. That's correct. There is no insurance that we call the IFP and seguro. The, yeah, there is no insurance. Yes. That is another point too. And sometimes you dedicate effort and resources because when you do a voluntary work, sometimes you have to pay instead of, instead of receive. Instead of receive, you pay or you get give resources because you do a voluntary work. So, I mean, it's not a disadvantage because if you do it uh, as a charity, I mean, it shouldn't be a disadvantage. It's a blessing that you have the opportunity helping others. I mean, it wouldn't be a disadvantage, being honest with you guys, but sometimes you spend resources. This is the one, depending if you're capable to do it or not. So have 50-50. Okay, that's great. Congratulations uh, to everybody because we can also define the type of trainings and also the opportunity to find the advantages and disadvantages. But voluntary work, if you do it for helping others, will be a blessing because everything you do, you receive it. If you give many positive things, you will receive positive things. I'm pretty sure about that. Well, let's continue with the next one. And that is the next activity. I think the time won't be enough. But we are going to start, uh, and tomorrow we'll develop the rest. Choose five jobs. We have a specifically one, two, three, four, uh, two, four, six, eight, right? And you have to select five jobs. Oh, teacher, can I choose the teacher? Yes. Can I choose uh, uh, health healthcare assistant? Yes. Can I select receptionist? Yes, you can select receptionist. Can I uh, select a doctor? Yeah, I can say it's like doctor. So, oh, manager job. So you will uh, choose five jobs and you will describe what people do in each job in a brief way. Okay, what a teacher, what a teacher does. Let's, I will give you an example. What a teacher does. Describe me what they do. Do, do you know what is the function? What are the functions of a teacher? No. The function teacher. The... Yes, the functions of a teacher. What a teacher does. Teaching others. Okay. Yeah, teach. And teach, prepare, the, teach. Pre prepare the class. Okay. Explain. Uh, explain the. Uh, prepare the class, show the class, mm -hmm. evaluate, evaluate the class. <laughs> okay, yes. Listen to students. Ah, okay, that's good, good. Help, help the students. Uh -huh. help students, that is, yeah. Okay. All right, so this is what we had to do. In a brief way, we explain what, uh, what of the five jobs they do. And then we're gonna work with the next step. Let's continue. What a receptionist do? Can you explain me in a briefly way what a receptionist do? Receive call, calls. Ah, okay. Receive calls and make calls too, right? Call. Receive calls. Give give information. Okay. Uh, coordinate a uh, meeting. Uh, coordinate meetings, yes. Help the customers about this information that they want. Okay. Organize the agenda. Ah, uh -huh. that is an A plus. Yes, it's good. It's good. Okay. What a healthcare assistant does, like you can see in the picture. A healthcare assistant does. What does this person, you know, what kind of job is this? Can you describe the, what they do or what you know they do? Uh, 
help to others or assist and, and support that mm -hmm. person that have a disability. Okay, yes. Patient, they, they have to. They are very patient. Do you know if they provide medicine to the patients? Yeah. Okay, this is another characteristics. What else the healthcare assistants do? They have to take a shower, then the person maybe mm -hmm. support them and, and all the mobility that the person has. Requires. Force, maybe it maybe the, the person have force or a strong person. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one that's important. Okay, what a, a personal assistance do? Uh, because there are some jobs that people are hired to be a personal assistant of the boss. And so they are like doing some specific jobs or task and as a personal assistant. What what do you know about these people or these kind of jobs? Organization the calls, the meetings. The assistant has to prepare that the all thing that their boss or the agenda as how well that reception is maybe. Okay, that is another thing too. Yes, thank you. And also the the, the personal uh, assistant has the agenda or the schedule of the activities to develop, especially to the boss, right? So the this is, this kind of uh, personal assistant has everything that the boss should do during the day or what schedules uh, they have to develop during the day. Information, uh, meetings, appointments to because they should know, okay, uh, mister, at eight o'clock, you have an appointment with the Dr. Morris. So they should have everything that will be done for a specific task. And also, as you mentioned, send emails, make and receive phone calls, set up meetings, organize things. There are a lot of things to do. And uh, that is actually important. And what about the area sales manager? Listen up, sales manager, a manager that is actually in charge of sales when you are selling products uh, to companies, etc. What do you know about the sales manager? The manager, the sale manager have to prepare that the plan or the the sale plan, the maybe a week or monthly or a year, the goals for the team. And they have to organize the team, the sell team and the activity that they have, and they have to be the sales manager have to be a leader. And I think <laughs> yes. Also, I, I think the manager has to keep a uh, level sales and increase the sales. Ah yes, th th that is the, I think the, the most important, right? They have increased. Uh -huh. Because imagine 
that the sales don't increase, what happened with the manager and what happened with the team? Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look, another job. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy people, we'll buy manager in, in, in team. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that no, the, the first the first manager, and then uh, uh, the team. <laughs> I'm not sure, <laughs> but maybe the, the team first, no both. Yeah. Yes, yes, you are reason. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we will continue tomorrow working on this um this activity. And we're going to take a short time to check the attendance list because it's at the final. So we check the attendance list and we conclude our class. You're dismissed. And then Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present teacher. Emerson Ulises... Rochester. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Jorge eh, José Bernardo López. Present teacher. Eh, José Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Eh, José Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. José Jusman oh, uh, Atilio. Present teacher. Sorry. And Juan Carlos Herrera. Juan Carlos, eh, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Eh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Eh, Osman Enrique Hernández. Present, teacher. Eh, Rafael Alexander Serna. I'm here, teacher. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present, teacher. And Sifrido Ernesto Gómez. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Is Wendy here? No. Eh, Miren Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. And Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Present, teacher. Okay, before leaving, guys, please uh, do me a favor. I'm just gonna I'm gonna speak in Spanish the first time, uh, but I need to give some information. Eh, solo pedirles que, que no se les olvide eh, realizar los ejercicios, porque eso sí los van monitoreando. Entonces, pues nos han hecho una observación de que sí tenemos que realizar los ejercicios, eh, porque esos pues tienen ponderación. Así que don't forget to work in the exercises on the platform. Teacher present. Sorry. Okay. All right. Thank you guys uh, for staying here in the class and have a beautiful night to all of you. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your Thank night. you. You too. Thank you guys. Thank you, See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 I have a problem for tomorrow. Ah, okay. We understand. Okay. Okay. Eh, eh, lo voy a decir en español. Eh, los inventarios generales de la empresa son mañana y pasado mañana. Y oh. no me voy a poder conectar porque soy coordinador. Entonces, eh, a puras penas, voy a poder cenar prácticamente, oh, así que... So bad, so bad. Mm -hmm. okay. Eh, okay, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it. Energy, energy. Sorry. Right. Don't worry about it, okay? okay. Thank you for let us know. Bye-bye. Teacher, excuse me, teacher. Yes? Uh, I I don't know, check attended. I move it, uh, the drink water. Okay, okay, don't worry. Thank you, thank you, don't worry. Okay, Carlos Dominguez, present. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome.